Sister Sisters and I've got another tutorial for you today and this is a pretty fun one. So I've been getting a lot of requests for something to do with summer and I'm actually going on a vacation to the beach soon and so I was thinking what's summery that goes along with the beach that I haven't done yet? A fish! <laughs> Duh! So I haven't done a fish yet and this is a fun one because uh, it's going to be actually a fish on a fishing pole which um, some of you might have seen before, um, but just hang tight and see if you've seen it like this. <laughs> it's a little bit different than your normal fish on a fishing pole, and kids really love this one. It looks great. Parents think it's neat. Um, so let's get started. Uh, for this balloon, I am going to use we're going to use two round balloons. I'm going to do pink and white for the eyes, and I like pink, so I'm just going to do a pink fish. You can get really fun using all different kinds of colors for this fish, so don't limit it to just the white and the pink. And then I'm also going to do, we'll do purple with the pink. So you just need one extra balloon for the fish. So we've got two rounds and a regular balloon for the fish. And for the fishing pole, I'm going to use a brown and a white 260. Now the fishing pole is optional, so you don't have to do these if you don't want but I'm going to show you the whole thing today, and I'm going to start with our pink round balloon here. So, we're going to go ahead and blow this up. Whoa! <laughs> That's going on the blooper reel. <laughs> okay, we're going to try another balloon and blow this one up. Okay. <laughs> And I've got to let a little air out so it's not fully blown up. You don't want it to be a giant fish. So we're just going to do about that big. I'm going to tie this off and just hang on to it right there. My handy dandy helper. Uh, now we're going to blow up the purple or whatever other color you want to use on your fish. And I'm going to blow this balloon up almost all the way to the end. We're just going to leave a tiny little tail. So on this green pump, it takes about eight to nine pumps. I'm going to leave about that much of a tail on this balloon here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this a little different than I practiced it. I'm going to go ahead and right off the bat, I'm just going to tie these two ends together. Always changing the way I make stuff. Okay, so you've got a big circle and a little circle. All right, so what we're gonna do with our fish here, we're gonna find the midpoint, so it's over here somewhere, and then twist it wherever you think the middle is. And on either side of that midpoint, we're gonna do a pinch twist. So just make a little bubble on each side and twist and twist. So now you've got two fishy lips. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take our round balloon that we've been holding on to, and I'm going to take the nozzle and just twist it into those lips. And kind of tuck it in like that. And now the rest of this is going to be the tail, the back end of the fish. It looks kind of cool like this, but we're not going to leave it like this. So. Go ahead and take your balloon, what's left of it, and you're just going to twist it around that round balloon. You want it to be nice and tight and secure so it holds the round balloon in place there, but not too tight. Okay? So that's pretty steady. And then you're going to take the rest of this, and we're just going to bring it in together to make the fins, make the fish tail. Alright? So now we've got that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use my white round that I've been saving in my little pouch here. And I'm just going to put one pump of air in there and even let some air out so it's small. And I'm going to tie that off and we're going to use this for the fish's eyes. So, the way I always do eyes, I'm just going to twist this around in half. Like so. And you're going to place his eyes, I take them usually underneath and up on top of the lips, like this. And that helps to lock them in place. And just arrange his lips so 
and they look like fish lips. Okay? And it's really cool if you want to add bubbles coming out with a 260 clear, just a bunch of bubbles. Um, but this is going to be a fish on a fishy pole, so we're going to assume that he's dead and not blowing bubbles anymore. <laughs> so because of that, we've got a dead fishy. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our dead fish. It's a very pretty fish, but it's a dead fish. So now we've got to make our fishy pole. So I'm just going to take a brown 260 and I'm going to blow it up pretty much all the way. Uh, basically we're making a super simple sword. I should do a video on that. Super simple sword tutorial. Video that will last 30 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so see it's just about all the way blown up. And the basic one balloon sword, you make your little accordion here and twist everything right in the middle. And then you've got your fishing pole. Okay? And the last thing we have to do is make the fishing line. And you can take an unblown up 260. And I'm going to start from the, the tip of it and use my fingers to slide all the air out of it. This makes the balloon more like a string or a ribbon. And I'm just going to tie the end there so that no air will get back in. Okay? And I'm going to pinch the air down in this brown balloon so I can have a little tail here to tie with. I'm going to tie the white balloon to the brown one. Like that. And then you're just going to take this other end and twist it around our fish lips. And get it coming out of his lips here. And now, you have a fish on a fishing pole. <laughs> so this is a great one for kids because they can swing it around as they're walking around. Um, it's interactive, you can kind of play with it. They really seem to like this and it's great for summer because what else are you going to do when you go to the beach besides play in the water and go fishing and get a tan. But I can't make a balloon animal of that very well, so <laughs> we've got our fish. And you can also put a shark on a fishing pole or an octopus on a fishing pole. Um, you can put all kinds of things on a fishing pole. So if you're looking for ways to make things more fun for the kids, this is a great idea. It's fun for me too. <laughs> so I hope you liked watching this tutorial. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I put new videos out of balloon tutorials. And like and comment and favorite this video. Everybody asks you to do that, so I'm going to ask you too. <laughs> but no, really, I do read all the comments and I really appreciate them. Um, I enjoy reading them. And I do respond if you ask a question or something that I can answer. I do try to respond to those as much as I can. So if you ask me to show you how to make... Um, the Eiffel Tower out of balloons. I probably don't have time to put that on a YouTube video because it would take a really long time. Um, but other questions I'll try to answer. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you go fishing this summer. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. <laughs> Bye.